There's essentially two types of transactions in the inventory control module in Dynamics GP. A regular transaction entry and a transfer entry. Let's take a look at the transaction entry. There's two types, uh, adjustment and variance. They're basically the same. It's just a way to differentiate them. So let's put an adjustment transaction in. I'll just tap through here, put a batch ID if you want to. You can specify a default site ID if you want to. But let's just go down here to the grid. I'm going to look up an item. Here's an item I want to use. And I'm going to add items to, I'm going to add quantity to my inventory. So I'll tab over to the quantity. If I want to, I can specify unit cost different than the one that's defaulted in there. This cost comes from the item card. It's the most recent cost for that particular item. So I'm just going to accept that and then select a site ID, warehouse, and I'm done. These are the distributions that are going to be used when this transaction is posted to the general ledger. But that's basically it. It's a simple transaction. I can increase quantity or I can reduce quantity. If it's a serial or lot controlled item, I will have to specify a serial and lot every time I make an adjustment to that particular item. The other transaction type is a transfer entry. And this is merely a transaction to move a quantity of items from one site to another site. It's relatively easy to do. And let's just do it right here. I'm going to enter an item. item I want and I want to move it I want to move 10 of these items from the current site this is the warehouse to another site which is this one right here so when I process this it's going to merely move a quantity of 10 from warehouse to north I can also change the quantity types in GP. There are different quantity types. People generally don't use these, but if I wanted to change from an on hand to one of these options, returned, in use, in service, or damaged, I would use a transfer entry as well. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep this. And again, if this was a lot number or a serial number, I'd have to specify the lot or serial number for this particular item. But that's basic, basically it. When I post this, it's going to move the quantity to that new warehouse, and if there's any general ledger entries associated with that, it's going to make those entries as well.